Congress releases a new report revealing that 99% of the border encounters results in the illegal immigrants being released. Are you surprised about that? Not really. Failure to remove 99% of them. Coming out from the Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, who's in the running to be the next speaker, published this. He says today, the Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan and another subcommittee chairman, Tom McClintock, released a staff report. We'll take a look at the PDF here that details that the Biden border crisis, how it's opened the southwest border and abandoned interior immigration enforcement. And the report specifically says that Biden's Department of Homeland Security has failed to remove more than 99% of illegal aliens through immigration court proceedings released into the country between all of the years 2020, 21, January 20th, 2021 to March 31st, 2020 alone. Let's take a look at the report because it is pretty gigantic. You can see it's 61 pages in total. We'll hit the highlights. The interim staff report from the Judiciary Committee and the Committee on Integrity, Security, and Enforcement published October 9th. The executive summary is as follows. They tell us the new data and information that was obtained by the Judiciary Committee and the subcommittee revealed that the Biden administration has failed to remove through immigration court removal proceedings over 99 percent of those illegals who have been released into the country under Joe Biden. In other words, it's not even, it's just fake, right? It's not even a real thing. It's not even close to being something that is productive or useful in mechanics. The information contradicts the assertions of the administration and the statements of Alejandro Mayorkas that the Southwest border is closed and that illegal aliens are being removed from the country quickly. They say these new data reinforce widespread concerns. More than two and a half years into Biden's term, the crisis continues. Publicly available information shows that encounters of illegal aliens on the southwest border surpassed 100,000 for the 31st straight month. 100,000. And the total southwest border illegal alien encounters exceeded 2.2 million in the first 11 months of 2023 alone. And we know that the population of Wyoming is about 500,000 people. So that is multiple Wyomings. In August 2023, encounters of illegal aliens at the southwest border skyrocketed to 232,970 72 people. And the unreleased encounters for September of 2023 will reportedly shatter previous records prior to that. Meanwhile, we've got more than 1.7 million known gotaways, people that we know got away, that they have evaded the border patrol and escaped into the interior of the country. We've got an unknown and untold number of unknown gotaways avoiding detection during that period. So 1.7 people that we know that we saw that we did not capture or process gone. That's what we have identified. So what is the number that we have not identified? And the people that we do identify and do put into the systems, 99% of those are not being processed at all or not being removed. Under Chairman Jim Jordan and Tom McClintock, we are conducting vigorous oversight of this administration and their immigration policies. New non-public data provides provided by DHS to this committee, so stuff that we have not seen elsewhere that's been released to the media, paints a bleak picture of the state of our border security and the new data are staggering. Congress tells us that of the more than 5 million illegal encounters from January 20th, 2021, when Biden comes in, through March 31st, 2023, at least 2.4 million illegal aliens had no confirmed departure from the U.S. No confirmed. So 2.4 million people, which is 5 Wyoming's. Of the illegal aliens encountered in those 26 months, DHS released approximately 2.1 million illegal aliens into the United States. Just go where you need to go. Between January and March, the, during the Biden term, the administration has removed, this is the number, listen to this number, wild, only 5,993 illegals who were encountered at the southwest border or who were placed in removal proceedings. So just do the math on that, and it's clearly less than 99%, right? Two 2.1 million or 2.4 million and 5,000, almost 6,000 removed. In other words, of the at least 2.1 million aliens released into the United States since January, when Biden took office, the Biden administration has failed to remove through immigration court removal proceedings, roughly 99.7% of the illegals. Incredible. So what, what, what's the point? Do we even need to try to like have a court system at all?
Like, do we, it's actually meaningless. Like the fact that anybody got through is pretty incredible because that's it. 5,000 people, 6,000 people in two and a half years. The Biden administration's total removals of illegal aliens during the same period were just 4% of the number of aliens with no confirmed departure from the U.S. as of March. And this data contradicts the liar, according to my words, not theirs, Secretary Mayorkas and his statements that the Southwest border is closed and that illegal aliens are, quote, quickly removed. Instead, with more than 99% of illegal aliens staying inside the United States, after being released by Biden, there is virtually no enforcement of our immigration laws. It's just not happening. Of the illegals who Secretary Mayorkas claims are asylum seekers and who were released into the United States, only 6% were actually screened for fear of persecution. Okay, so a bunch of people come in. Oh no, we're victims. We're being persecuted. Oh really? Do they even ask by whom and where and what's the nature of the persecution and what's your involvement in the persecution? And are you really a political exile or what? Only 6% even got asked the question. They're like, oh, oh, another asylee, huh? Come on in. You found the right way of words to use. Of the illegal aliens who were found to have a credible fear of persecution and whose asylum claims were adjudicated on the merits, DHS had only removed 874 of them as of March. So the Biden administration has released into the country at least an additional 205,000 people through its illegal categorical parole programs. And they say this is a parole program that began with Venezuela. And they tell us that because of the unprecedented border crisis, some immigrations and ICE officers have been forced to abandon arrests and removals, including those who have, including criminal aliens, right? They're not able to remove the criminal aliens because they've got to deal with the new people showing up at the border. Meanwhile, Biden's own policies and the so-called enforcement quote priorities have contributed to reduce arrests and lower removals. In transcribed interviews before the committee, ICE officials, including an ICE official and multiple ICE field directors have testified that under the Biden administration, releases have increased, removals have decreased, wrong numbers are going in the wrong directions. American communities have become less safe and Biden has all but abandoned immigration enforcement, which is exactly what the numbers show. The testimony from these frontline enforcement officials vividly shows the dangerous consequences of the open border policies. So our subcommittee is going to continue to investigate to determine how we can reform immigration law and end the far left's policies of incentives driving the crisis at the border, which is a word we've always used here. They create incentives which cause people to come. And you can just see some of the report here. If you want to read the full thing, you can find it on the congressional website. But here's really Releases versus removals, 2.1 million released, 108,000 looks like removed. Small slice of the pie on that one. It's almost as though they're not even trying. It looks like they're not even trying. When you look around and you see the media, but now the committee reports that the numbers show that as well. And there's a reason for this. I think that they want to cause a problem so that they can bring in a solution. The solution, either way, is going to be something that is favorable to the deep state if you have a major immigration problem problem, maybe they clamor for a solution that involves citizenship. They get citizenship, well, then they get new voters. If they don't want that, then maybe we have a breakdown of services and the government has to come and demand more money to solve the services. We need more government funding to bring in more resources to your states. Maybe there's violence. Maybe we have a border breakdown or a border war. We have conflict that increases beyond just the deaths of fentanyl. And then Congress comes in and says, we need national IDs now so that we can keep track of all the criminals. And we go, well, you kind of let them in the last 10 years and they say, well, but now you need to be checked. Just like you need to be patted down at TSA everywhere you go, even though now terrorists are flying across on go-karts with parachutes or something. So this is a problem that I think is being engineered. Meanwhile, the Republican and probably many of their donors are thrilled with cheap labor. And so the problem just continues to be exacerbated. Question is, how long will this go and what will the response be if there will be one at any moment in time? Jim Jordan is running for the Speaker of the House. We'll see if he gets there and what he does about it all.